because I produce it pretty much on myself. So it was, uh, was tough. Very really tough, but I'm really proud of it. I'm really happy. I didn't watch it for like four or five months. And, and I got, and I, and I had the feeling, I had the same feeling like it was the first time I saw it again. Even if I watch it like a thousand times, especially on post, on, because like every moment, every little arrangement, every little details is everything coming from me and my me, uh, by me, that's it. Yeah, my editors and everything, they'd be really patient. And there was a lot of argue, but uh, at, at the end, I, I was able to, to have this. So, but again, without my DP, Timoto, and um, the other main crew, and you know, I couldn't make this because the three and a half days, almost four days of shoot, it was really tough. It was really tough and stressful. I, I, I have, I had like seven white hairs. I'm not kidding. I mean, I'm getting old <laughs> already. So anyway, uh, any other question over there? What are you making your next movie? <laughs> well, now I'm working on, I'm in pre-production for, for two movies, but I'm mainly focused on marketing myself, especially around, you know, around Hollywood in the right circle. We're here now with Best Awarded Actor and Director Enzo Zalaki for My Little Princess. Enzo, you've won Best Actor, Best Outstanding Performance, Best Director, and Best Family Film. Everyone's impressed with all of your awards in addition to 23 movie awards. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling very blessed and also I strongly believe in the power of ideas and, um, and dreams. So I work really hard for this, and uh, I work really hard for the last two years. So I'm, I'm looking forward for the next challenge. So far, and, I'm ho and I hope to don't stop here, and I just hope that's gonna be a strong beginning for something really big. Well, your efforts definitely came to fruition with this film, it was beautiful. How did you come up with the idea for the movie? Well, honestly, I was looking to get a nomination for an Academy Award, and also I was looking to get the, the most attention as possible with the limited financial resources we had. And um, I came up with this, and um, the original script was very expensive. So I had to rewrite, you know, to rewrite the script 14 times to fit the budget. So, and then I decided to stay more focused on, uh, basically more on the connection of this young Jewish father and his little girl dying from terminal cancer. I tried to stay more focused on this, um, and also on the message of family, faith, and, uh, and love, love, faith, and family. I, I tried to stay really focused on that without you know, thinking more about the, the fancy thing, about helicopters or a hospital's location or ambulance or uh, all those kind of things that was not in the budget. So I, you know, I just rearranged the whole thing around and hopefully, you know, thank God, worked. I think so, and it was a beautiful message. I also did a lot of research um, of real people, real stories, little, real kids, died for a time of cancer. Uh, that was a really deep and touchful you know, experience for me because I also had the chance to talk with one of the, those moms who really lost um, a little, little girl. And uh, I saw the videos, they put her on YouTube, I saw it. I did a lot of research and, and honestly, it was, really, it was amazing how those kid that was living that moment like um, with hope, with hope on their minds. I think was was just amazing how strong you know they was at the time when they was alive and and they still strong up there in the sky for sure and the, and I really gave a piece of my heart on this. In future movies, uh, you use different accents. Uh, why and how are you able to do that? I'm just using different accents like in my real life. I um, because especially when I'm building a character, I like to start from scratch. So I like to. Um, to feel what a character, what the character is supposed to feel, to taste, you know, I like to to really feel and live the character. So that's why I also switch accent and and um, and also build everything from scratch, like I said before. And um, you know, and I also use it like in my real life because I think regular accents are just boring. So 
they're pretty boring. It's better to be unique. That's my that's my motto. So you, we might find you ordering dinner in a different accent, huh? Oh, big time. You can ask to my friends sometimes. I'm, I'm switching things around. I, if I'm not paid for it, I mean, I just uh, follow whatever I feel. So <laughs> just That's great. What about your next projects? What are you working on? I'm currently doing pre-production for um, two projects right now, and uh, uh, one is gonna I'm gonna be a producer and lead actor, and another one is gonna be the director and lead actor again, and uh, I'm going to location scouting between uh, Bangkok um, in Thailand, and I'm planning to go to East Europe as well, also with North Africa, because you know in in order to can try to get better deals around as a on the producer side, and. Uh, um, and then we'll see what happens. And use the majority of your efforts on making wonderful film like My Little Princess. Uh, thanks so much and congratulations on your success. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, what's her name? Barbara. Thank you again. Thank you. I'm here with Tim Oltholt, who is the director of cinematography. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. So congratulations on the completion of the film. How do you feel about the uh, final project? I think the final project is great. Um, uh, I'm actually not surprised once I've learned to, uh, once I learned who Enzo was, um, that the project would actually go somewhere. Um, I've worked on hundreds of projects, uh, or actually thousands of projects with over 100 directors, and uh, Enzo is one of the uh, few people who can actually finish three projects in the same time it takes one person to just talk about it. That's amazing. I'm sure you'll be working together again. Um, okay, well, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Hi, now we're here with TJ Mancini, writer-producer of Find Me Guilty with Vin Diesel and Double Fault with... Max Ryan. Um, so you also got to see My Little Princess. What do you think of this amazing masterpiece? I think uh, Enzo did an incredible job with his commitment and talent. And, and uh, w with the limited budget and limited time, he really had, uh, I would say, a breakthrough project that's about something that touched a lot of people's hearts. And he, he poured his heart into it. And he, he deserves the recognition and the accolades that the, the film is starting to bring to him. I think he's won several awards and, and should be winning uh, several more. So you're not surprised, uh, no, putting no, he, all his he, dedication, talent, and his commitment, and and uh, he has that unstoppability, which is a character that separates the champions from those who just talk about it, and and actually uh, has the tenacity to get it done with whatever resources at hand, plus a lot of talent, a lot of heart, and hard work. Well, no wonder why the film came out so great. And what about you? What are your next projects? Anything we can look forward to? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm working on the double fault with Max Ryan. We're closing the financing on that. I'm working with Vin Diesel on a couple other projects that we're developing, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have some things uh, in the future where we can work together with Enzo and some of the other stars that I'm working with. Sounds like something to look forward to. Well, thanks for coming out and joining us. My pleasure, dear. Thank you. Hi, now we're here with an actress, Michael Metcalf, who played a touching role in the movie as the nurse. Hi, Michael. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. Congratulations on the film. Oh, thank you. Uh, are you pleased with the outcome? More than pleased. <laughs> it was, uh, I think we all knew we were part of something, you know, when we were working on set. And I've been with Enzo since the beginning of, like, pre-production. And even just reading some of this stuff, you get you get the feeling of like, wow, this is going to be an amazing project. And every time I watch it, especially when that scene where I lift you up and he's talking about her going to heaven and God has puppies in heaven, <laughs> I cry like every time. It doesn't matter. And I've seen this more than enough. <laughs> so I don't know. It was fun. And I got to play with puppets and be a nurse. Um, what are your next projects? Well, I just played a Russian in a like a female espionage like assassins so I think that'll come out soon and um, oh I did a horror movie we should say that Laid to Rest 2 is coming out with uh, Brian Austin Green Thomas Decker and I get to play one of the bad guys so it was a very dark role so it was like from this it's all feel good and it, but you have to realize it's about the little girl and the dad and it's just everyone would relate to that you know having someone that they're going to lose from something like this and making it what Enzo did with the film it's just like Unbelievable. So I think that it touches a lot of people's hearts. 